What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Game Day with Trey. Of course, this is your host, Trey, and this is your NBA preview and predictions, my leans against the spread and uh, total for the game for this L.A. Lakers versus New Orleans Pelicans NBA playoff play-in game. All right, this game will be played at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday night. All right, the line did open up over under at 2.28, New Orleans minus one. It has since moved to over under 224 and New Orleans plus one. So it has moved in favor of the Lakers and it has moved in favor of the under because of the way that line has moved, you guys. All right, as far as uh, injury reports concerned, uh, for New Orleans, you ain't got nobody on there. Okay, we all saw Brandon Ingram play the other, uh, the other night. Uh, in the last game of the season when these two teams did match up, all right? And for the Lakers, Anthony Davis is probable. Davis was hindered by back spasms, but it's anticipated that he will suit up for the battle against the Pelicans in this Western Conference play-in tournament. Of course, Vando's still out, Slafino still out, and Christian Wood is still out for this game. All right, now, uh, the LA Lakers recently beat the Grizzlies and Pelicans while losing to the Timberwolves and Warriors. The Lakers are averaging 118 po uh, points per game on 49.9% shooting while allowing 117.4 points per game uh, on the season while uh, on 47.4% shooting. Uh, LeBron James is averaging 25.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, while uh, Anthony Davis is averaging 24.7 points, 12.6 rebounds a game. D'Angelo Russell's in third uh, double-digit score, and Austin Reeves is grabbing 4.3 boards a game. Uh, the Lakers are shooting 37.7% uh, from beyond the arc uh, and 78.2% from the free throw line. Uh, Lakers are also allowing 37.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.1% uh boards per game you guys all right and that's just what you're looking at on the season how these guys have been looking whereas when you're looking at the pelicans the pelicans recently beat the kings and warriors while losing to the lakers new orleans pelicans are averaging 115.1 points on 48.6 percent shooting and allowing 110.7 points per game on 46.4 percent shooting zion williamson's averaging 22.9 points and 5.8 rebounds while brandon ingram's averaging 20.8 and 5.1 rebounds cj mccullum is in third double digit score uh, and trey murphy is grabbing 4.9 rebounds a game the pelicans are shooting 38.3 percent from the arc beyond the arc and 77.1 percent from the free throw line pelicans are also allowing 34.9 percent shooting from deep and are grabbing 44 rebounds per game now when you look at these two teams when they played the uh, last 10 times they played, uh, the series leaned straight up 6-4 Lakers. All right, uh, against the spread, it also leans six to four Lakers. And then when you look at over under, it's six to the over, four to the under. These teams have played four times this season. Lakers won three of those four games, and they covered three of those four games. Uh, three of those four games also went over. The last three times these teams have played, man, it's gone over. Okay, and we all saw the game the other day, uh, 124 to 108. Lakers mopped up, mopped them up in uh, in New Orleans. But at the same time, we also got to understand there was a lot of things riding on that game, just like there's a lot of things riding on this game. Uh, it was almost a playoff environment then. Okay, uh, Lakers just got on, on, on up ahead on them and got up on them early. Okay, now when you look at uh, how the Lakers have been playing in the last 10 games, okay, <laughs> Lakers are seven and three straight up, five and five against the spread, and seven to the over, three to the under. All right, now uh, the problem with that, guys, is that that's not Laker ball. Lakers have had four straight overs in their last four games. Okay, in order for the Lakers. To get right, they got to come out like they did against Cleveland. That was the last game that went under. It was 116 to 97 back on April 6th. All right, they have they have to come out and kind of play like that. They have to play defense because if they don't play defense, then they will not see uh they will not see Denver all right after this game. Like they're going to end up having to see the loser between the uh the Kings and Golden State. All right? Uh, like that's just what it is. If we if they don't we don't come out and play defense, then it's not going to work, okay? And I'm saying this as a Laker fan. Yeah, I am a Laker fan, you guys. So it's just it is what it is on that one, all right? Now, when you're talking about the New Orleans Pelicans, Pelicans are 5-5 five and five straight up in the last 10. They're 4-6 and six against the spread in the last 10. And they're 5-4-1 and one to the over, all right, in the last 10 games they played. 
Uh, they've been all over the board. Until this Laker loss, they were on a four-game win streak. They had beat Phoenix, Portland, Sacramento, and Golden State all on the road. All right? Like, the, these, these guys were actually kind of rolling prior to uh, meeting the Lakers the other day. Uh, but, like I said, this is, these are playoff games, playoff environment, and that's kind of played a major role into what we were seeing out there on the court. Uh, when you look at what these two teams are doing in this situation, okay, uh, as a road favorite, the Lakers are, are coming into this game, wow, 5-11 and 11 against the spread, you guys. Okay, now they're 9-7 they're and seven straight up. But they're five and eleven against the spread coming into this game, whereas as a home underdog, New Orleans is six and five against the spread, and they're five and six straight up. So neither one of these teams play well in this actual situation, which bodes in the favor of the Lakers because of that, uh, because of the experience that they have out there. You kind of saw what happened in the, in the game on. Uh, the, the game on on Sunday when they put uh, LeBron James over there on Zion Williamson for a good portion of the game and let LeBron actually play defense on him. LeBron can't do that for a whole series, which he doesn't have to. He just got to do it for one more game, okay, and in spot, in certain spots. You can still play LeBron and make him and, and, and expect him to play great to amazing defense in certain spots and certain positions, you just can't consistently ask somebody that's been 21 years in a league to do certain things like that. When you look at the over-under in this current situation as a away favorite, it's 11 to the over, 5 to the under. Whereas as a home underdog for New Orleans, it's 4 to the over and 7 to the under in this current situation. Uh, with equal rest, it's uh, 28 to the over, 19 to the under, and one push, where it's 21 to the over and 24 to the under with one push from the Orleans in this current situation with equal rest. Uh, we're looking with equal rest against the spread. Lakers are, are 27 and 21 against the spread, whereas the Pelicans are 24, 21, and one against the spread uh, with equal rest. So you always got to look at those types of things and understand those numbers because if you don't understand what's going on with equal rest and you don't understand with, with how many games they played and so many nights and all that type of stuff there, then you kind of can get lost in the sauce with how well these players are going to play. But remember, this is a playoff game, you guys. It's win or go home almost in this situation. So uh, when you're looking at how these two teams have been playing in their last three games, Lakers are averaging 122.3 points per game while giving up 120.7. And the Pelicans are averaging 119 points per game while giving up 118.7. And you got to remember these last three games that they were playing. Okay, uh, Pelicans' last three games was against Sac at Sacramento, at Golden State, and then at home against the Lakers. Whereas the Lakers' last three was Golden State at home, at Memphis, and then New Orleans. So the strength of the schedule definitely has to go lean to uh, the Pelicans because those last three were all playoff teams that were jockeying for playoff position versus the Lakers. They did have that game against Memphis, and they did kind of like not show up a little bit. Uh, they only won that game 123 to 120. They sleep, sleepwalked through the game. They were giving up 16 against the spread in that game. Uh, yeah, it's just, that, was, that was ridiculous. All right, but at the same time, you kind of did expect it, and uh, I did have Memphis on my ticket, so it is what it is. You got to know which way to lean and who's going to actually show up and how they're going to show up for you. Okay, now my actual leans in this game, or before I even get to the leans, just one, a couple more things, all right? So uh, the road team has won each of the Pelicans' last nine games, all right? Uh, the road team has covered the spread in eight of the Pelicans' last nine games. And each of the Pelicans' last five home games against Western Conference opponents have gone over the total points line. Whereas with the Lakers, uh, the road team has won seven of the Lakers' last eight games. The Lakers have failed to cover the spread in seven of their last eight road games against Western Conference opponents after winning as underdogs. And each of the Lakers' last eight road games against Southwest division opponents have gone over the total points line. Now, everything that I just told you would lean you towards the over, okay? Including the way these two teams have played all season. Remember, it's gone over three out of the four times. It hasn't gone under, well, when, when these two teams matched up since, uh, I want to say, what is this, uh, December 7th, uh, when it went under the 229, okay? And that was the first time these two teams matched up this year. 
All right, and that was a 133-89 to blowout with the Lakers giving up two. That was in L.A. Now, remember, this game is going to be in Nons, okay, first and foremost. Second off, that was a long time ago. So why are the bookies moving these lines down towards the under? I'll tell you why. Because of the fact that this is going to be a defensive game. You're going to see a lot more defense in this game than you saw in the last 10 games for each one of these two teams. Okay, well, as far as who they played against. Remember, Lakers are leaning 7 to the over and 3 to the under in the last 10. And the Pelicans are 5, 4, and 1 in the last 10. Uh, so 5 to the over, 4 to the under, but 1 push. All right, so my I've already got a ticket in on this game. I, I bet this game last night. I bet this game with the Lakers, uh, or not the Lakers, I bet the under uh, 228. All right, so you see right now it's at 224 moving towards that position of the under. So that was definitely a good look on that one, in my personal opinion, because uh, like the bookie, the the books are agreeing with me right now, guys. All right, it's, it's looking like a very defensive game. It's leaning towards the Lakers because you see it's moved as New Orleans was get, is, was giving up a, a point. Now they're getting the point. Uh, but it's definitely moved towards the under because they expect more defense. They expect these two teams to come out and really lock in. Remember that Brandon Ingram uh, was on a minutes restriction in the last game, and that was his first game back out on the court. Really didn't even know he was going to be out there like that. So that's going to be play a major effect on how these two teams are matching up with each other because he's going to get a little bit more comfortable into the lineup. When a person comes back from injury and they've been out for a significant amount of time, it usually will lead to some hiccups when these two teams or when that team gets gets out there to play for the first time and they, usually for the first couple times guys that's why in, in this game i'm leaning lakers uh really i'm, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put in put in for the lakers i already got the under the unders moved or, or moved four points though so i don't know if i'm gonna mess with the under again probably will probably buy a point or two to get it to 225 and a half or something like that so i got a little juice on it yeah i'm not gonna lie we'll do that uh i'm, a, I'm somebody who likes to win guys all right it, it, it's all about winning i look at this stuff like you look at the percentages of what you're getting back on a stock okay on a stock if you were if you were to put in put your money in a stock okay and you got 35 percent back you would be loving it you'd be happy if you got 10 percent back okay in such a short span in a week or a day unless you were playing an option all right so uh the point is that if i'm gonna be happy with that then I should be happy with that down. Now, do I put in bets where, I, where <laughs> I'm paying for a lot of juice like that? No, I don't, man. I, I don't. I, I have a le uh, limit to how much I want to get back on my return uh, for ROI. But at the end of the day, that's where you got to look at it, guys. And, and understand, the parlays, parlays are good. They fun, you know. But don't, you got to understand how to bet them uh, when you're doing them, guys. But we'll do a whole other video on that. Like I said, lean for this game. L.A. Lakers, uh, definitely most likely for to get to the window on that within the next hour or so. Uh, I already got the under in, you guys. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Please like, subscribe. Come on back, man. I have been hitting. I am up, literally up about 45 or 46 units on the season uh, for the NBA this year. So I'm doing great. Uh, but that's to be expected. All right. Remember, this is a numbers game. All right. I, I, I play this. And I, and, and I make my plays based off of my vast knowledge of the game because I've been watching it for a long time, studying it for a long time, played the game. Then on top of that, I make my decisions off of numbers and and uh, math. You know, math is, is king. Math will tell you everything you need to know. And all you got to do is understand the current situation after that, you guys. That's why I give you the information I give you. All right, but like, subscribe, uh, come on back. Uh, and please comment. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, I will put my play in the comments uh, later on today. Uh, but y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe, man. I'm going to see you at the window. Peace.